Hi, my name is Tom Weinberg. This is my favorite place. It's called Comiskey Park. I've been making tapes like this for five or six years, and what we're about to see is a piece of one of my favorites. Welcome to Image Union. I am the dean of the city council. Do I look like a natural dumb? Watch out! Here comes Wired In! Welcome to Time Out, a weekly exchange of ideas on the world of sports. The Bozo 25th Anniversary Special is on the air! This isn't a little game we're playing, it's radio. This is the 90s. People, places, and ideas on videotape from all over the world. Chicago Slices. From Chicago, it's Weekend, Weekend TV. TV. Hello, I'm John Calloway. Tom Weinberg wanted to do and did and does television without getting in the way. In a certain sort of way, he was the father in this country of the true reality television. How come it's taken four years uh, to bring peace in Vietnam? Because it's a very complex problem and it doesn't depend only on us. Are you having a good time here? Very good time. How are the girls? Very pleasant. Excuse me, everybody. There we go. Hi, young lady. Hi. What's your name? Destiny. 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 What a wonderful name. <laughs> Boy, are we glad to meet you. We've been looking for you for months. <laughs> Can I ask you to just do one thing for, for the PBS show? What? It's the 90s. The name of our show is the 90s. It's going on April 1st. We've been with David for a whole lot of people. Just uh, say right this to Eddie. This is the, this is the logo, and that's the show. All you got to say is, See you in the 90s, right, Daddy? Like it. Do I want to say right to Eddie? No, you just say, oh. see you in the 90s. This is the logo, see you in the 90s. How's that? That's good. Just say, see you in the 90s. 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 Now, I ask you, my fellow Americans, haven't you ever wanted to put your foot through your television screen. How many nights a week are you on the street? Uh, three nights, two nights a week on Anchor Desk. But the man's about 25 to 40, fully clothed and uh, dead. I think a lot of these fellas born and raised with a silver spoon in their mouth, their kids are full of dope and they're a bunch of bums and stuff. Don't tell me any stuff like that. I, I know what I'm talking about. And this, that's the kind of people you got to pay attention to. And then somebody get on television, yap, 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 and I'm Len O'Connor. He was a Czech, and his name was Joe Church, C-H-C-H-C-H. -H -C -H. There was no <laughs> vowel to his name. And whenever he'd get drunk at night, he had room 35 going upstairs, he'd, call, he'd, he'd in his sleep, he'd go, ah! So my brother and I would close his mouth, because the other guys were objecting to noise. We realized later on, he was crying out for his lost vowel. <laughs> but of all those of our television, especially making something that is documentary in nature, I know of nobody with the imagination and a sort of empathy as Tom Weinberg has. Once when he was doing an adaptation of his own, of my book, Working, and he called it It's a Living, and he captured certain people there in manners that no one else captured them. I'll never forget his, the, the parking lot attendant, Lover Now, and he caught the guy's feeling of pride in his work, this parking lot attendant. Lover Now, that's me. <laughs> How you feel Oh, I feel fine. I just left the family, and they told me to come on down here and try to make some money another day for them, where they could live again. We'll see you at the bar, Okay. My friend. 
thank you, sir. Take care of yourself. Okay. And how do you say that? I don't know. You had to teach me. Yeah? That's, I teach there, you like there. this. Somebody, this uh, there you go. Sometimes some people you shake your hand, they come like that. You like and that, that, you know, I don't know that. I don't you know. know that either. I, only I thing like that's like that. that. People thought I was strange. I didn't think anything of it until people started saying, hey, you know what you're doing out there? Yeah, I'm pitching. Oh, before you pitch. I mean, yeah, I'm filling up the hole. I don't like it. You want me to get the ground crew out here every time? I mean, you know, stop the game, ground crew, you know, fix the mound, you know? I mean, because eventually then I wear into my own hole. You know what I'm saying? And it was a thing of why go into someone else's hole? That's the way he pitches. Pitch the way you pitch. And if he wants to go in your hole, let him. Tom has always believed in the power of independent voices, independent points of view, and believed that they belonged on television. And he has created whole television series designed to showcase other people's work. We never get a chance to do what all the, uh, while, while we were at our young age, like most of the young uh, little white kids, they grow up, their mother can send them to uh, a school or they can take up gymnastics, use all the apparatus, or go to a, you know, swimming, you know, so they can take up ballet. They can have something to do. They have money to do that. We don't have money to do that. That's why, you know, we can do the stuff that they do. They do it a little bit better because they have more training, uh, better training, more practice, more equipment, you know, just a, a little bit more than what we had. And we had what they had. In the 90s, all kinds of life is reflected every week. It's informative, it's original, and it's growing. The 90s is innovative TV that is reaching trend-setting, independent-thinking viewers all over the country. Today, the video is being integrated with even greater enthusiasm. It can reproduce choreography and songs of their celebrations. Do you realize our generation that grew up on TV is probably the stupidest generation to come down the pike. And the most beautiful thing is a ballpark filled with people. Other people can have great acts of nature. That's mine. And the next most wonderful thing is a ballpark half filled with people. And I like the Midwest. I think that I think that if there's a contrast, it's here in Illinois, Wisconsin, Missouri, Michigan. People want to tell you the way it is. And I, uh, I'd like my children to be raised under that umbrella. That's all. Great. I think we got it. I think we got it, Studs. Because then we'll be repeating a lot.